Hey YouTube, it's Courtney with Courtney Sammy Clays and Resins. I'm here with a small mail haul and a little resin update. Um, this is my new background. What do you think? I grew up in the sticks, so I love real tree and camo and uh, browning bucks and all that kind of, you know, redneck kind of stuff. Um, so I really like this wood. It's um, this is paper. It's scrapbooking paper. Doesn't it look really real? I love it. So um, I went back and forth like a hundred times trying to figure out whether you use my flash or not. And I finally decided to use it because it kind of helps pick up the sparklies in the resin. But it does distort color a little bit. So that kind of sucks. But um, I'm going to look this week and see if I can find a natural light light bulb. Because I have been doing quite a few of my videos at night time. That's why I usually sound so deep and raspy. So... <clears throat> Excuse me, I did one the other day during the day and you could probably tell the difference in my voice But I don't get time to do videos during the day very often because I do have a little one-year-old running around and she is Whoo, she keeps my hands full. So, um, let's get into it. I will show you my little haul first And then I'll show you my resin update um, I got these two Oval silicone molds. They're shiny. I really like them. They're really cute. Um, I bought a piece from another resin maker on Facebook. She's very, very talented. And I just fell in love with the piece. I thought the mold was so cool. It was an aerial theme piece. So it was kind of like the waves in the water. So I thought that was really cute. And I bought one myself. And then I got these shiny silicone square molds. Um, I haven't seen a piece done with these yet. I was thinking more of using them like this way, you know, instead of just squares but I do have these tiny squares as well I got these from little windows and these are like the best molds ever I actually want to get another set because you don't have to glaze anything like usually when I use shiny silicone I still glaze because it doesn't make it shine as well as when you do glaze it but these are just amazing this is the medium set and these are perfect pendant size for little girls and for you know just anybody so I participated in a buy-in um, I forget exactly what group it was on. I'm in so many Facebook groups, but I got this package of jump rings and it came in this cute little box, which I will probably dump the rings out and reuse this for confetti or something like that. But they all split open. I was afraid that some of them might not, but they all do because I need them to. I already have ones that don't split open, but this was $3. So I thought that was a really good price. And then also from the buy-in, my God, come on, get out of there. I probably should have opened this first, but um, I believe there's three, 200 in here. These are just little eye screws, and I'm really, really happy with the color of these. They're like a bright platinum silver, and I have some, and they're almost like an antiqued silver. They're my last resort ones because I was about to run out, so I did use them on a couple of pieces, but I tried to use them more like on the Halloween pieces, so they would kind of go along with the darker themes and the darker colors, even though I did make some pink Halloween pieces. Uh, and then I got from the same buy-in... I'm not going to show you the other pack, but I got two packs of these. They say made with love. There is 30 of them total, I think. No, 40, I'm pretty sure. But I just thought they were really cute. I don't make jewelry too often, but I make it for gifts. And once in a while, I do get a request for a necklace here and there. So I thought they'd just be a cute little charm to put on the back with the lobster clasp or the toggle clasp or whatever. So I got a bunch of those. They'll probably last me a while because, like I said, I don't do finished pieces too, too often. But when I do, I thought that would be a cute little addition. So let's start off the resin update. None of these pieces have been glazed or sanded. Uh, I think two of them actually have been glazed and sanded, but the rest of them haven't. I'll tell you which ones are which. I just wanted to get this video done because I'm going to be really, really busy the next few days, so I'm not going to have time to do it. So there's this guns with a crossing barrel. This is actually a really, really pretty pale pink. It looks almost white, but in person it's a lot pinker, a lot more pink than it looks on the screen right now. This is actually made with um, Amazing Cast with the Quick Cure resin. So it can be colored. You just have to find the right kind of stuff. It cannot be water-based if it's water-based. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can find it. Oh, where is it? I want to show you. It's so funny. Oh, okay. Here it is. I found it. Hang on. Don't leave me. I swear. 
Okay. This. So this was how big right here was how big I poured. And this is how far it splooged out of the mold. Or was it vice versa? It was vice versa. So it rose up pretty high and it just kind of did not work out. It's kind of got a cool spongy look to it. And it's like, it's real light and it definitely feels like it's filled with air. So that's what happens if you use water-based colorants in your Amazing Cast Quick Cure Resin. So I got this Elsa piece right here. My husband really likes this one. He said the background kind of looks like graffiti. It's got pink, matte, tinsel, and then this uh, glitter mix that I bought that's really for nail art. I got it off eBay, and then there's some sprinkles around the outside, which I think they look really neat. They came out, they were such a pain in the butt to put in, but it's got a blue background. I'm going to do them this again because I don't like how the pearlix didn't mix in all the way, and there's some bubbles and yada, yada, yada. I have a similar Elsa piece. This one's really cool. I use the watercolor technique that a fellow YouTuber, I'm still learning everybody's names, so I apologize if you watch this video and you're like, oh, she didn't give me any credit. I swear I tried to. I just, you know, I at least let everybody know that it wasn't my original idea and that you can find how to do it on YouTube. I'll start providing links in the future, I promise, once I start learning who everybody is, but I am very new, so cut me some slack. Um, I like this because it looks like it's kind of like ice, like around here, you know, like whoosh, and then it's pearl colored over here. Uh, background's just white. I don't know what, I don't know what that black stuff is on the bottom there, but I don't like that. But you can see it's got like bubbles and stuff, so yeah, I'm probably going to end up doing them in the back of that again. All right, let's just blow through these. I think I'm running out of time. YouTube always yells at me for having my videos too long. This is really pretty in person. The f I hate the flash. I want to do this in natural light. So these are some really gorgeous turquoise jelly AB rhinestones. I have them around the top right there as well and around the bottom right here just to kind of bring it down to the rest of the piece. This was also made with Amazing Cast Quick Cure, so you can use glitter with that. It is possible. You can't mix it in, though. Uh, I'll do a tutorial on that eventually. But there's just some metal-looking flakes in the back. Metallic, there we go. And some... Uh, shoot what's it called cellophane flakes and some tinsel there is this Rilakkuma and Karilakkuma piece which I really really love look how cute his little socks are oh my god they're adorable there's some stars in the background they got their little teddy bear and I just put a little bow on it um, I think I'm gonna dome it not over the bow or anything but there's like this indent in this mold so I'm gonna have to dome that I did this Alice in Wonderland silhouette, which I think is really pretty. It's got blue flakes in the background. This is my first use of these stickers. And then I have this other Alice in Wonderland. This has to be glazed as well. You can see the watermarks. Um, the teapot pouring into the cup, and that's cute. I think it's like representing like the tea being poured into it. Little gold heart over there. I have this Hello Kitty Halloween. She has a pumpkin bow in her hair and she's holding a little piece of candy and then I just have the lollipop to go with it. This one I'm not very happy with. I wish the pink would have popped out in the back more but sometimes when you use the watercolor effect it doesn't make it as vibrant as if you would have mixed it. I think I'm still perfecting that technique. I don't think it has anything to do with the technique. I think it has to do with the techniqueer. <laughs> I have this Christmas light. It's really pretty. I can't wait to glaze it. It's not glazed, so it is pretty flat, but it's got these metallic hollow blue circles. The bottom is silver down here to kind of, you know, represent a, or look like, excuse me, or look like a regular Christmas tree light. I'll show that again when it's glazed. I have this fabric and a piece that I blinged all out. These are hot fix rhinestones. I like those a lot. So they're really shiny and really pretty, and they're not very expensive compared to Swarovski, which is what I usually use, which is what was on the Hello Kitty piece, and which is what is on this piece. Look how cute! Oh my god, they're like fishing for little stars in this pool. I am obsessed with these stickers, and this was the first one I decided to use. I'm going to use the cotton candy one where they're selling the cotton candy next, but I had to get this in a piece already, and it's got little pink stars, and it's got rainbow-colored cellophane flakes and Swarovski crystal. The background's just white. Like I said, none of them have been sanded, but this one's for me. I have no idea what I'm going to make out of it, but I'm obsessing over these stickers. I just absolutely love them. And then last but not least, we have this Hello Kitty. Listen, if any of you 
ladies know where to find these stickers, the angel Hello Kitty ones. I bought one sheet, and when I got them, they were so much cuter in person than they looked on the picture. So if you know where to get these, please, 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 please let me know and um, share it in the comments. I would really appreciate it because I absolutely love them and I'm almost out of them. I use a lot of them. This piece is really thin. It has to be domed again, but it's just white on the back. So that's all I have for you today. Not too many pieces, but I wanted to share my little haul with you and show you guys my new background. So that way, you know, ooh, peekaboo, that way, you know, when you see the wood and the mossy oak or... I keep saying mossy oak. I really like mossy oak. I wish they would have had it, but it was just real tree. So that way you know that it's Courtney's Handmade Clays and Resins on Facebook when you see this. So subscribe, thumbs up, comment if you have any questions, send your friends over. We're almost, I think we're over halfway to 50 subscribers. What, what? I appreciate every single last one of you. I really, really do. So thank you for sticking with me through this kind of longer than I expected video. And uh, what's my next video going to be? I already had it planned out. Oh, I think it's my squishy haul. I bought some squishies and they should be here in a couple of days. Or maybe I'll show you some molds. I just got plastic today too. I don't know, whatever. This is going to be too long and I'm probably going to have to re-record it. But if I don't, then I will see you next time. Bye, YouTube. Mwah.